listening to um, to Jack today, he said something that kind of really struck home, and that was you know, talking about technology and talking about you know all those those tools that became available when we went from analog to digital. Um, and one of the problems with that was, you know, we abuse. Um, often we use these things because we can. And I, I only have one image to show you. Um, but the, um, the, the reason I'm, I'm picking this image is because although it involves a lot of, um, go ahead, a lot of um, technology, there really is sort of some madness behind, uh, or actually some sanity behind the madness of doing something like this. So, when I saw this in image, it was up in, in Sierras, and I saw these beautiful boulders kind of in the foreground. And I looked at it through a wide angle lens, and I love the boulders, but the background the tree line was nothing but a far distant little line of green with a couple of spots of yellow. You miss the fact that we had these beautiful pines and these aspens there. So um, I realized that what I needed to do was to compress the difference between the two. And that meant that what I really needed was a wide angle telephoto. So um, not having one of those, I put together some techniques to give me that effect, to bring the compressed distance and still give me the width that I needed. And so what I did was I took, as crazy as it sounds, 30 images. And as you can see, the images are pretty contrasty. And so one of the things I was trying to do also was to give myself a little more dynamic range so that I could you know, not only see um, uh, the, the contrast and the focus distances, but, uh, you know, to give me an image that was useful. Now, I used Photomatic 6 to do the HDR from the 30 images, and I did that because this program allows me to do batch files, to do 30-some images very quickly. And when I got done with that, I ended up with 10 HDR files Five of them near focused, five of them far focused. The far focused was basically looking at the uh, tree line. The near focus was, of course, picking the boulders as my focus point. Then I created some focus stacks, very small ones, only two images, but uh, using um, scripts in Photoshop. You load those files into uh, stacks. You select both of those files that are now in layers. And then you go over to the uh, auto align, and that's under the image um, menu, an auto align and an auto blend. And after you run that, what happens is you end up with five HDR focus stacked images. You take those and just like um, Matt was saying, you create a panorama and in Photoshop you load them in and what you end up with is your panorama of focus stacked HDR images. And additionally, I just you, know, you have these horrible blue uh, skies and so I, I kind of borrowed a, a couple of clouds and brought them in. And so the net result is this. Um, focus stacked HDR panorama. And that's basically uh, how this one image was made. And it's my uh, kind of attempt at a share of my stuff.